Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackGear.com. Today we're going to break down the all-new Alpine Stars Missile Ignition V2 One-Piece Race Suit. The Missile Ignition V2 retails for $10.99.95. As of the time we're shooting this video, please understand we don't update for pricing changes, only when the product itself has been completely redesigned. This is an excellent evolution on what was already a really solid product. Sizing, 5 feet 11 inches tall, 195 pounds, 33 inch waist. I am wearing a size 54 euro right now in this race suit. Underneath, I have on an Alpine Stars KR3 back protector. It fits and feels exactly the way I would want it to. The comfort level right off the peg is amazing. This, I, I remember when I reviewed the very first missile iteration, right? That's a suit that I rode in a couple times. Max raced in it for a whole year. He had a couple of those before I moved up to the GP Tech V3. This is a very serious improvement on the fit of that suit. Like, it is a huge improvement. Very happy about that. This is Tech Air 5 compatible. We've already had questions from people. There's whisperings out there about a new Tech Air system, right? We're not gonna talk about that because we're not supposed to talk about that, but you guys are all pretty smart, right? And can Think for yourself because Alpine Stars is always racing ahead. They're always working to make improvements. This is not going to be Tech Air race compatible as of today. Okay, I have heard some whisperings that maybe there would be like a yeah, system to allow some integration. That's not happened yet. This is Tech Air 5 compatible. And then, of course, if there is any other thing released in the not so distant future, my expectations are that would be completely compatible with this as well. If you're going to use this with the Tech Air 5, the best way to put the suit and the vest on together is to lay the Tech Air 5 vest inside the suit. Tuck in the sleeves, get it up, get your arms in through the vest, into the race suit, zip up the vest, reposition, zip up the suit, you are now 100% good to go. Remember, the Tech Air 5 is compatible on street and track with a simple change of the algorithm using the app that you simply download to your smart device. Pretty bitchin' stuff. We've seen it work on the racetrack. We have a little video, my buddy Joe Lamandry Jr., nice little high side in the rain in race two at Barber a couple weeks ago. It worked great. Just like Max's Tech Air race worked great on Saturday when he high sided himself right in front of us in the first lap of qualifying number two. Features and benefits of this suit, okay? CE armor, race level, the nice race level Alpine Star stuff, elbow form, elbow slider, motion panel here in the elbow, motion panel here in the shoulder, CE armor in the shoulder, external shoulder slider to bolster protection in that area, CE armor in the hips, CE armor in the knee and shin. If you're not going to use any of the Tech Air stuff, you're going to need a standalone back protector like the one I have on right now. Alpine Stars has some good options. Other brands do as well. If you don't have one, you'll find that stuff on our site. The suit also has provisions to accept the Alpine Stars CE chest inserts. We'll show you how to do that in the second part of this video. It's super, super simple. Slide it right in. Other benefits with this suit. When you have a suit designed to manage an airbag deployment, the suit has to be able to expand if, in fact, the vest goes off. To do that, they add motion panels and stretch to the suit. You're going to see that all over the missile ignition. More stretch here in the arms, chest area, this additional stretch panel here. Back of the suit, massive stretch paneling. And pay specific attention right here. This upgraded stretch panel here in leather at the waist. This thing is just so mobile when you have it on. It, it doesn't fight you at all. It's pretty epic. Ventilation is another pretty big upgrade with this suit. All the stretch fabric you see flows air freely. Of course, your perforated panels here flow air. Stretch fabric down here. 
segmented perf here. But if you want to zoom in as much as we can here, the matrix fabric. This is another new material Alpine Stars is introducing this year. This stuff is stronger than leather. Higher abrasion resistance, higher tear resistance in leather. And it is a full-on mesh panel. But you hold this up to the light and you look through it, all you see is light. So this is going to allow a tremendous amount of air to enter the suit here. If you look at the back of the suit in the race hump area, you will also note there is matrix fabric that is utilized back there. That race hump is fully perforated, so that area allows for an exchange of you know, heat energy and, of course, air working to keep the rider cooler and more comfortable. Some really cool upgrades on this suit. I am super pumped, and one of the things I really appreciate is even with the whole Corona Apocalypse bullshit, Alpine Stars has managed to keep the price at the same level the previous version of the Michelin Ignition was at, $10.99. I think this suit is an excellent value. If you like what you see so far and you want more details, stay tuned for the second part. We're gonna pull this thing apart and give you a closer look from the inside out. Okay, here we go. The all new Missile Ignition V2 race suit from the inside out. Let's start off with the armor that is included. This comes with a fully perforated race hump. These perforations are gonna line up with strategically placed matrix material we're going to talk about that more in a second and some fabric stretch both of those uh, materials flow air freely and allows for an exchange of heat and air in that area to keep the rider cooler and more comfortable ce level one certified race level armor shoulder elbow forearm Knee and shin. You can see how robust this is. This is the same stuff they use in their top end suits. This is really good stuff. I know this is what's in Max's Alpine Stars race suits, the GP Tech V3 that he's been racing in for a few years. And let me just tell you, he has taken a few tumbles in that and it has worked out famously every time. Got some BioFlex CE certified armor in the hips. This stuff is very low, low profile, moldable, flexible, comfortable. It's a nice addition. Tech Air ready, okay? So this is not Tech Air race ready because it doesn't have the LEDs on it. You know, there are going to be moving forward. You guys are all intelligent. You know that products keep pushing forward. We are going to see some changes in the Tech Air arena. With that said, current Tech Air race owners, there's going to be suits for you. It's good because that's what Max and I have. Tech Air 5 owners, that's going to stay a current product. That is 100% compatible with the Missile Ignition V2, which is nice. And then you can figure out the rest on your own. We may see something new as we meander into 2022. If you choose not to use any of the airbag products, you're going to want to add a back protector. Get a standalone back protector that has shoulder straps, waist strap. You'll find that in the Alpine Stars section of our website, nice little armor section there, you can pick that up. And you can also add, if you like, CE certified chest armor. There are pockets inside the suit where you Velcro this right in place, all right? It's a little pocket right here. Open it up, slide it in. It's gonna hold it in place. These are sold separate. You will also find these in the Alpine Star armor section of our website. Focusing on the shell of the suit itself and the liner. This has a fully removable liner. It zips in at the cuffs. I really like that. It holds itself in place much better. Zips in all through the torso. Your hip armor installs in a little pocket and stays with the liner. And you'll also note this is a short liner that terminates just above the knee. Then there is a built-in liner inside the suit in the knee area. That is so much more comfortable and easy to put on and take off. That's something we've seen in some other suits. I love that it's moving in that direction. It's a very positive change. There is also one storage pocket in the liner of that suit if you want to carry some documents or something while you're riding. Shell of the suit. Let's get right to the new stuff, man. This is the Matrix. This is a very tightly woven mesh per Alpine Stars, more tear resistant, more abrasion resistant than leather and it flows air 
freely, okay? Back here on the race hump, the intake up here on the hump, huge leather stretch panels. Look at how big these are. I mean, these are all the way down to the hip. You've got a massive panel down here that spans across the waist, rolls down into the hip itself. Tremendous stretch with this suit. All the stretch fabric up here at the base of the neck. Two layers of leather in the seat. Integrated tailbone protector for additional protection. Segmented perforation. That's a hot spot, obviously, right there in the crotch to keep the rider cooler and more comfortable. Stretch fabric is used all through the crotch and the back of the legs. We have a calf expansion zipper. If you're larger in the calf area, all you have to do is zip that open. There's another panel of stretch fabric behind that, and it allows for the bellow to open up and accommodate riders with larger calves. Shoulder of the suit. We've got the elbow slider, screen printed Alpine Star logo, motion panel here, motion panel on the shoulder. That's to help manage airbag deployments if you have one. Integrated shoulder slider that works in conjunction with the shoulder armor to bolster protection in this area. An important point. If you're going to add any of the airbag vests, we get the question all the time, should I or can I remove the shoulder armor? The answer to that is 100% no. You do not take the shoulder armor out. All the airbag pieces are designed to work with the shoulder armor. If you happen to have a crash slow enough that your airbag doesn't deploy, you're going to want to have that shoulder armor in place. Trust me when I tell you that. Front of the suit. Perforation is the name of the game with the missile ignition V2, okay? Matrix right here. That is another panel, that matrix fabric. Free flows air. You notice it's out of the impact zone, right? Plenty of perforation here in the lower torso. All the stretch fabric you see that spans from the wrist up into the chest, into the underarm area. That all flows air freely, so you're going to enjoy a lot of cooling in that area as well. You can see how the stretch fabric comes up into the hips. We've got some localized perforation here at the top of the quadricep. Motion panel in the knee, real nice racy shape to the knee cup. Integrated knee protector, replaceable knee puck. We've got some textured leather panel here that is meant to help grip the motorcycle so you don't have to hold on as tightly with your hands. You're able to use your legs a little more effectively. We do have some screen print printed reflectives on this suit too for nighttime visibility if you're using this on the street. Probably not a real common use for a piece like this, but it is there. Down here at the very bottom of the suit in the calf area, the boot's going to cover this, but there's stretch fabric here instead of leather. It just takes up less area inside the boot and makes it more comfortable for the rider. Quick look inside. All the seams are safety stitched. Obviously, this is Alpine Stars. This is one of their higher end suits. This is an excellent garment. The missile has been out for a few seasons now. This is the evolution and upgrade of just that. This is actually the same style suit that we started Max riding and racing off in. He managed to test that one a couple of times too and it held up really, really well. At the 1099, this is a high quality suit. Give you kind of a look here at that double layer in the seat. This is probably one of the key slide zones. Two layers of leather there. A little closer look at that tailbone protector. All in all, what do I think? At 1099, this is a phenomenal value. You get a lot of the higher end features and benefits. You get the all new matrix fabric. You get the Tech Air Race, or I'm sorry, the Tech Air 5 and whatever else might be happening someday in the future. Compatibility with this suit, which really takes the protection to the next level. All race grade armor and leather is used in this. This is a quality piece that sells at a fair price. If you have any questions, leave those in the comment section of this video. I answer all that stuff myself, and I'm always here to help you choose the right gear for your next ride.